Hey guys, Ethan Hamrick here with Wish Upon a Fish and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to rig a soft plastic swim bait and fish it effectively for big springtime bass. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so soft plastic swim bait is one of my favorite lures to throw when targeting big largemouth bass, especially during the springtime. They have extreme erratic action and flare and lifelike appearance when brought through the water. They imitate bait fish very, very well. Now when it comes to rigging my soft plastic swim baits, I prefer to Texas rig them. Texas rigging a soft plastic swim bait is one of the best ways to rig it, especially during the spring when I'm fishing it up shallow around cover and vegetation. Uh, I, when I Texas rig it, it's rigged weedless, so I don't have to worry about getting hung on and brush and vegetation uh, when brought through the water. What I do when I'm Texas rigging my swim baits is I just take my 4 watt extra wide gap hook with that small 1 ounce bullet weight pegged above it, I've got that bobber stopper there holding that weight in place uh, and then I just take take my swim bait and I'm gonna run it up that hook up the shank and onto the onto the eye and then just run that hook back through and I've got my Texas rig now that is my favorite way to rig this off plastic swim bait when I'm fishing it during the spring as I mentioned I can bring it through cover and vegetation very easily and through lily pads grass reeds working on the surface work it just beneath the surface it's a very versatile bait when I don't have to worry about that bait getting hung up when I Texas rig it. Now this technique is awesome for fishing shallow water, any, anywhere from one to three or four feet deep. Uh, it's a great technique. I can work it just on the surface like a top water over the tops of grass and pads, or I can work it just beneath the surface uh, around the edges of the cover, uh, and, and both those techniques work great. And when I'm working on the top, those fish will come up and bust it, and I can get some awesome top water strikes that way. Um, but it's just a great bait for both those techniques and it's a great bait to fish shallow because those fish are moving shallow to spawn They're getting ready to spawn They don't like a big bait like that swimming through their bedding area um, and, and they'll often attack it when it gets close to their beds So it just makes it an awesome lure to cover that shallow water uh, during the springtime Now my preferred soft plastic swim bait is a strike king rage swimmer. It imitates bait fish extremely well It's got super erratic action from that tail uh, it just looks super lifelike and real in the water. Typically, I'll start with a 4.25 inch bait. If the bait fish are smaller, I'll go down to a 3.25 inch bait if I can tell that the forage in a certain lake is smaller. Uh, but Striking Ray Swimmer is my number one choice. I also like the Gary Yamamoto Hardtail Swim Bait. That's another great swim bait, good action. And also the Reaction Innovators uh, Skinny Dipper is another awesome swim bait as well. So all three of these swim baits are great choices when selecting a soft plastic swim bait. Now when it comes to the right tackle to use for a for soft plastic swim bait, I prefer just a standard seven foot medium action bait casting rod paired to a reel with a pretty fast action because a lot of times in the spring when those fish eat that bait, they'll, they'll eat it and come straight towards you. So you gotta have a quick reel to catch up to them. So I like a reel with a fast action, seven one to one gear ratio or higher uh, when I'm throwing a soft plastic swim bait. And I spool that reel with 20 to 30 pound braided line and then I'll tie a fluorocarbon leader, usually a 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon leader to that mainline braid to help disguise that braid. So that is my setup. I keep it pretty simple, uh, nothing too complicated about it. A lot of guys may not use braided line uh, when throwing a soft plastic swim bait, but I prefer my main line to be braided line because it, I can power through that vegetation a lot easier. That braid will cut through that grass and that vegetation a lot easier than fluorocarbon will. So braided line is my preferred choice when throwing a soft plastic swim bait up around cover and vegetation. And one other way you can catch fish on a swim bait is if you, you find fish schooling. They're probably feeding on shad and a swim bait is a great shad imitator as well. So if you come across schooling fish, try throwing a swim bait through that school and you're bound to catch fish on a soft plastic swim bait if you find them schooling. As I mentioned before, I might not always want to use a large swim bait if the forage or the bait fish in that certain lake is smaller. A lot of times I want to go down to a smaller swim bait. So a lot of times I'll go down to a, a 3.25 inch or if the bait's really small, a 2.75 inch uh, if I'm fishing around an area where that bait is smaller. And if I do go down to a smaller swim bait, I just downsize my hook. I'll use a, three, a two odd or three odd hook uh, as opposed to a four odd hook. So keep that in mind when you're fishing with soft plastic swim baits. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you can use some of these tips the next time you're out on the water this spring. Be sure to give soft plastic swim baits a try. I'm sure they will not let you down. They're a great lure to throw this time of year when the bass are up shallow. Uh, so give them a try the next time you hit the water. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel up in this corner, check out our last video up in this corner, and there'll be a lot more exciting and helpful fishing videos headed your way. We'll see you soon.